friends welcome to my channel so in the last class we learned about arithmetic progression hope you guys enjoyed that video so let us write some more ap's first one 2nd example, let us write another example, now let us write the list of natural numbers. So these three examples are AP. First one with common difference, 20. Second one with common difference, 5. Then third one with common difference, 1. So let me ask you a question. How many terms are there in first AP? First term is 100, second term is 80, third term is 60 and fourth term is 40. So there are four terms in this AP. Now, how many terms are there in second AP? 30, 35, 40, 45. So 30 is the first term, 35 second term, 40 third term, 45 fourth term. So there are four terms in second AP. And in third example, how many terms are there? It's a list of natural numbers. So first term is 1, second term is 2, third term is 3 and it goes on. So there are infinite terms. Hence it's an infinite AP. Clear? Whereas first two APs have finite number of terms. Hence they are finite AP. Okay friends. If you know the first term, can you write the AP? If you are given the first term alone, can you write the AP? A equal to 6 is given. Can you write the AP? Not possible. If you are given only the common difference, can you write the AP? Not possible. Yes, you need both of this information to write an AP. So, a equal to 6 and D equal to 3, then you can write the AP. First term is 6, second term is 6 plus 3, 9, third term is 9 plus 3, 12, and it goes on if it's infinite AP. Clear? Okay, guys, now I'll give some first term and common difference. You have to write the AP. So, A equal to 7 and d equal to minus 3. Next shape is a equal to 4 and d equal to 2. Third one a equal to 10 d equal to 10. So now let's complete this. We are given first term and common difference that is we are given two information so we can complete this ap. So 7 comma 7 minus 3 4 comma 4 minus 3 1 etc. If it's an infinite AP. Then second AP 4 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 etc. Then third one A is 10. So first term is 10 plus 10 20. 20 plus 10 30 and it goes on with an infinite AP. In this class we learned about finite AP, infinite AP and we also learned that we need at least two information to write an AP that is first term and common difference. Okay guys so see you in the next class till then goodbye.